Okay, this time we're going to try and combine Loom with an additional camera so that we can have our face on the screen and record ourselves reading a book or doing a demonstration. So I've logged into Zoom, I've run the program, so I'm recording, so I'm on my desktop now. Um, but what I want is access to my other camera. So I go down to my Windows button, and this is it's assuming you're using a Windows PC. If you're using a Mac, sorry, I'm not really sure how you might do this, but I'm sure there's an equivalent method. So I need to find my camera on here. So I'm just going to type in camera, and then it comes up. Click on camera, and we're already in my camera there. And like you can see a picture of um, lost and found there. Now, if you've got multiple cameras, all you do is you just switch between them like this. Now, it won't let me use um, this camera because I'm using it for Loom. Um, but it will let me use my visualizer. Okay, so now I go back there. And now I could read you the story. And the brilliant thing about this, oh my goodness, is actually the right way round. So before, it was reversed when we used Google Classroom on its own. But here now, I can read the book. Once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. So this time I can do it properly without having the problem of it reversed. So there we go. That's Loom and using a visualizer.